all the big crystals in here are olivine, at least I think they are. They're like three and a half crystals in the, in the central region. They are all at different orientations, but what you'll see is they have parallel extinction and a range of interference colors from fairly low to some uh, pretty high ones. Um, and it's that high interference colors, the parallel extinction, also the relatively high relief that um, helps identify these as olivine. This is a peridotite. Um, I'm pretty sure the entire field of view is made up of olivine crystals. Here you can see they have these curved fractures called arcuate fractures. Uh, that is also distinctive of olivine. Pretty typical interference colors. They get up pretty high. more coarse olivine crystals. And again, you can see those kind of arcuate fractures. This is maybe a good point to say that I'm really terrible at identifying olivine in thin section. The relief is very similar to the pyroxenes. Sometimes it has cleavage. Um, high interference colors are, are um, and parallel extinction are giveaways. and close-up of an olivine crystal, maybe the hint of a cleavage through there, but you can definitely see the arcuate fractures. When I cross the polars, you'll see that this has approximately, um, you've got to get it in just the right orientation, but it has parallel extinction and fairly high order interference colors, much higher than, say, an orthopyroxene. And then one last olivine. It, this one shows some rather poorly formed cleavages. Cleavages are not super common in olivine to see them in olivine, but they do form and they, you can see them in some thin sections.